I mean, I see a couple thousand, you know, young high school or probably even youth and high school kids a year with camp systems. And, and I always talk to them about goals and having some short-term goals and some long-term goals. You know, for example, some people just want to be on their team. They got to make the team, their high school team, before they're, they're a star yet. So, and, you know, and their long-term might be, I'm going to win the state championship. Um, you know, but I think that people put things in place and they start with their goals, you know, and that's the first, that's the building block. But I think that you know, there's a couple other variables that go with, with this goal setting that makes a difference, and um, depending on what your goal is and what you want to do. But you know, after you have your goal set, then it's about planning. You know, how are you going to get to your goal? You know, how are you going to get there? Um, and after you have a plan and you're, you're starting to you know, uh, develop that, the next part of it is really the, the hardest part. It's called execution. You know, a lot of people st spend a lot of their time in the planning phase, and they forget that execution is the hardest part. You know, and that's the get up every morning and the frequency of how many runs and lifts and, and the amount of time you got to spend wrestling every day or drilling and learning these skill sets. And, and then I usually, you know, talk to them a little bit at the end. And of course, it's a little condensed version of, you know, a long talk um, about, you know, taking the onus on yourself, you know, being responsible for your actions. You know, I think a lot of times today people and young people want to want to put the blame on someone else. And it's really, you know, it's really about you and it's your goal and you got to go attack it. And, and being responsible is, is, is part of it, you know, and you can't look at to other people and say, well, I didn't have a good high school coach or my dad and mom are divorced now. You know, you got to find ways to, to make things happen and not ways that um, keep you from doing the things you want to do. So, you know, when you talk about goals, I mean, each person on our college team has certain things that they want to accomplish. You know, some people want to be a part of something and other people want, you know, to be the national champion, you know, and we have a wide range of people. You know, we have 44 kids this year on our college team, and, and, and everyone's a little bit different, you know, and they're under, you know, I believe in being systematic, but um, everyone has a different view why they're there, you know, and, and, have to, and each of them have to make a contribution for the team to be good.